Chettinad is a cluster of 75 villages and towns spread across 600 square miles, deep in the heart of Tamil Nadu, in Sivagangai and Pudukote districts. The Natukote Chettiyas are called Nagaratars, meaning people living in towns. They are a conservative community of traders and financiers. From the beginning of the 19th century to the middle of the 20th century, this prosperous banking community ventured overseas to do business in Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Mauritius, Singapore and Malaysia. The Nagaratars enjoyed a trustworthy position in these lands across the seas, trading in precious stones and metals. The riches earned abroad were ploughed back into constructing palatial houses in Chettinad, built between 1880 and 1920. Some of the Natukote Chettiyars were successful middlemen during the British rule, creating townships in the middle of nowhere. Natukote means mansions like forts. The teak wood came from Burma and Ceylon, marble from Italy and stained glass from Europe. Then the Second World War and the independence of Burma and other developments in the Southeast Asian countries dramatically changed the fortunes of the Nagaratars. Suddenly, they had to leave these countries and return to their palatial homes empty-handed. But the enterprising community was soon back on its feet, starting industries and other trading activities. Known as Pangalis, or clan members, the Nagarattas belong to one of the nine clan temples spread across Chettinad. Wherever they went, the God-fearing Chettiyars built and renovated temples and helped in the preservation of the symbols of faith and culture of the Tamils. The Kovilu temple in Karekuri is helping in reviving the interest in the ancient art and music of Chettinad. The Mutt also supports many charitable organizations. The Nagaratars are considered to be the pioneers of organized banking in the country. They are credited with introducing the concept of double entry bookkeeping, commonly known as debit and credit. The first Indian overseas bank was started in Karekuri in 1937. Pungal is the harvest festival. The bonding of the Chettiyas owes its strength to the numerous festivals and rituals, as worship plays a major role in every Chettiyar home. The overflowing milk is believed to be a sign of a prosperous agricultural season ahead. Manjaverattu takes place the next day. Farmers gather to display their prized bulls. Each bull has a cloth tied around its neck containing money. The owner of the bull challenges anyone to bring the bull under control and win the prize money. It is a chaotic scene. Yet to be discovered by the world, Chettinad is a tourist's paradise. Some of the mansions have been tastefully converted into luxury hotels. Karekuri is 80 kilometers from the temple city of Madurai.
This is the memorial of the Marudu brothers. The Marudu Pandyas were the erstwhile rulers of Sivagangai during the 18th century. They were the first to announce a proclamation against the British rule in India. They collected various kings of the south for rebellion. The British started a war against the brave brothers who resorted to guerrilla warfare. The war continued for 150 days. Finally, the British hit upon a cruel idea. They announced that if the brothers did not surrender by midnight, their dear Kaliyar Kovil temple would be blasted. Only then did the brothers surrender. Before they were hanged on 24th October 1801, they requested that they be buried in front of their beloved temple. This is the house of Sri Tirukoshtiyud Nambi, the guru of the saint philosopher Sri Ramanujar. Sri Ramanujar requested his guru to bless him with the explanations of the three important mantras of Vaishnavism. Sri Nambigal got a promise from Ramanujar that he would not reveal the explanations to anyone. But later, Sri Ramanujar, feeling compassion for the others, revealed the sacred mantras from this spot. Chettinad has a Tamil Thai Kovil, temple for Tamil mother. This is the only temple in the world where the deity is a language. Kambar is one of the greatest Tamil poets. He wrote the famous epic Ramayanam in Tamil. His samadhi is at Nartarasan Kote. Pillayar Petti is the most famous of the Nagaratar clan temples. The main deity is Karpaga Vinayagar. The temple is around 1,500 years old and is carved out of a mountain. Chettiars have always known the importance of formal education and set apart a percentage of their profits for educational purposes. The Meenakshi Girls School at Karekudi was founded in 1917. Annamale Chettiar founded South India's first private university the famous Annamale University at Chidambaram in the year 1929. In 1947, the visionary Alagappa Chetiyar started the Alagappa College in Karikudi that later grew into a university. Kovilurmat has started a diploma course in Nadaswaram and Tavil. have not severed their links with their land. Wherever they may be, they return unfailingly to their ancestral houses for rituals and functions. Marriage is the grandest celebration in the Chetiar family and is still conducted in their native village. It is a lavish family get-together.
for Chettiar hospitality is legendary. Chettiar food is spicy, but not chilli hot. The spicing is subtle and the secret is especially homemade masala of the achi or aunty. Unlike the general impression that Chettinar food means spicy chicken and fish, Chettiar cuisine is basically simple vegetarian fare. The specialities being Vellai Paniharam, Pal Paniharam and Appam. Change is inevitable. With the new generation flocking to big cities, the scenario is rapidly changing. Year-long empty houses now come to life only during a wedding or religious function. Maintenance is expensive. These massive mansions and temples now stand mute witness to a rich, bygone era. But everything is not lost. There is still hope. The government and the people of Chettinad have to act fast. There is a treasure trove here to be opened out to the world. We cannot allow these majestic visuals and sounds of Chettinad, soaked in culture and history, to just fade away. <laughs> 